I am so, busy. So you should you should get to work. I sh I should get to work. Is that what you're telling me? If you're busy. You gotta do an His body camera's on. Yeah, his body right camera's on. Stop. Uh, he has his body camera I don't on. Joke. I'm not Stop. the one. I no, you wanted to stand there and hold your cell phone in my face is what you wanted face. to do. So, I know your inclination is wanting to assault me, Excuse Sergeant. Me, Stop pushing me. I'm trying to get in. I'm trying you to get in the, building. in the building. You have no business here. I do have business here. Stop acting like a like a like a savage. What are you Captain. doing? Brian, do you have any comments for the people on how you were acting like a savage animal? Is that how you treat all members of the public, Brian. Yeah. You're a law enforcement officer? Yeah. Well, By pretending to be a law enforcement officer? That's why I was a little shocked. Almost two months ago now, regarding a FOIA request for some body camera footage. Okay. And um, some security camera footage. You're standing here and you are recording. So if I could ask you yeah, to step yeah. out. Over here. I'm okay, sir. It's getting to the point where we're gonna, where you're at, if you're not here on official business, we're gonna ask you to please step outside and into it. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we're at the Connecticut State Police Headquarters here in Middletown, Connecticut. We are here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here at the Connecticut State Police Headquarters to follow up on our FOIA request that was made almost two months ago on June 16th. Legal has been giving us the runaround. They will not release the body camera footage showing Sergeant Brian Fahey assaulting me and violating my First Amendment rights yet again. So hopefully we can hold them accountable here and get some answers. Let's see what they say. So right over there in front of the food truck, it's where Sergeant Fahey assaulted me, broke my camera, Pushed me all the way towards that flagpole. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. And this is where he grabbed my phone again, turned it off. Hey, how are you doing, sir? Uh, good afternoon now. Yeah, good, good afternoon. afternoon sir. Um, I'm here to speak to somebody from legal regarding a, a FOIA request that FOIA I had submitted. Request. Okay, give me one. What's your name, sir? My name is Sean. Sean, okay, give me one second, sir. Okay. All right, no problem. Thank you. Just can't help yourself, can you? You know I'm here and you gotta come outside, don't you? Don't you, Sergeant? You know I'm here and you wanna come outside to see me. Can't help yourself. Yes, sir. So, uh, I just tried calling the they're not answering. I don't know if they're on lunch. Um, I did try calling again, but they're not answering me. I don't know why. Yeah, so you didn't speak to anybody from legal? No, no, they, I called up there and nobody, nobody answered, so I'm not sure if they're in the office or they're on lunch. All right, no problem. I'll wait. If you want to wait? I'll wait. Like 12.30, okay? Yeah, sure. I'll wait. Brian, do you have any comments on what occurred last time you I was here? Brian, do you have any comments for the people? On, did you did you read the cop did you read the comments on how you were acting like a savage animal? Is that how you treat all members of the public, Brian? You don't even deserve to be called sergeant. Is that is that how you treat every member of the pub public, Brian? Interesting. Has nothing to say now. He had a lot to say before when he's slamming the door on us and turning off our phone. Violating our First Amendment rights and just being a criminal that he is. Just because he has that gun and badge doesn't make, mean that he's not a criminal. Excuse me? She's going to take care of you because I'm, I'm Some, getting to my lunch, okay? Yeah, sure. Someone's from legal? No, no, no. I'm saying at 1230, she's going to call up there again for you. Okay. All right, no problem. Thanks, Juber. Can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, Martinez 1236. All right, thanks, Martinez. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're still waiting here to speak to someone from legal. Yeah, no, no. No? I'm waiting to speak to somebody. Pretty good foot shot. Yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe on the way out. Maybe on the way out. Is everything going with you, man? Everything's going good. Are you recording? Yeah, taking pictures and video. Independent journalist. When did I start? Yeah. Two and a half years ago. Yeah, I've been exposing a lot of corrupt law enforcement for officers. For school for journalism? No, 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 I didn't. I, I just been exposing a lot of corrupt law enforcement across the country, and I actually work with police departments and trainings. 
they invite me in to do trainings at the department. When they start doing that? Yeah, um, last year, and I just got invited to another one. I just did one in North Bergen, New Jersey. So, trying to bridge the gap between law enforcement and the public. Yeah. What in your in your line of work? You're a law enforcement officer. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with transparency, right? Well, I work here, not a law enforcement officer, but I work here, so I'm an auditor. Uh, are, you expect, oh, you have, are you expecting for me to say something? I'm not going to say anything to you. No, I'm not. I mean, your I, face I was. Says that, though. A lot of I people was. I can't see your face behind the camera. Oh yeah, no, I was just a little concerned because you said no. you were a law enforcement officer and then you said you weren't. So it, I said I work at a law enforcement. No, I said, are you a law enforcement officer? And your answer was yes. So I kind of... You said, are you in law enforcement? I'm in a building that's I said, you're... Okay, we'll, we'll run it back. You're a law enforcement officer? That's why I record transparency. But that's that's why my face was like, wow, did this guy just commit a crime in front of my face well, by pretending to be a law enforcement officer? That's why I was a little shocked. I couldn't believe it for a minute. But no, I, I don't want you to say anything mean to me. I'd like to have a polite, cordial conversation no, with you. like this. Uh, like you're ready to get me to do something. I was ready to get you to do something? Yeah, like you're waiting for my response or something. Oh. That's what I was just asking. Can oh, I, no. I can ask you a question, right? Of course, I'm you can ask me whatever you want. Questions, no, you can ask me whatever you want, sir. You mind if I get your name? Jose. Jose? And you have a badge number, Jose? No, because you're not law enforcement, right? You got me. Do you have a uh, ID number? Uh, I don't feel comfortable giving that out. You don't feel comfortable giving out your ID number? What department? What department do you work? I mean, you you struck up a conversation with me. What department do you work no, in? No, because I asked you if you were lunch. I yeah. said, "Are you getting anything?" Remember that? Yeah. And then you started talking. Do you, and then I said, "Are you recording?" What, what department do you work for, Jose? For the DSPP. DESPP. Legal. No, not legal. Not legal. But what department? Do you know what DESPP? -E department of Emergency. You got it. Almost. There you go. So what department? What, what department do you work for, Jose? For the state police. No, but what department inside? What? What department? I don't think I have to give you that. You don't? For my A &O. Okay. You, I mean, that remains to be seen. That's it. You'll find out. I'm just trying to talk to you, man. Why are you so aggressive? Man? I'm being aggressive. I'm asking you all these questions. I'm trying to ask if you went to school. I went to school for journalism. Yeah. That's what I was going to tell you. I like all of them. Yeah. I, but, but then you're just like asking me a million questions about where I work at and all that. <laughs> I just to talk to you, brother. It's just, it's, I can't, you can ask me questions, I can't ask you questions, sir. I said you could, I answered every question. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I was just saying, I just wanted to talk I don't you. think I was being aggressive, Jose, really, I wasn't. It's all on who's on the other side, right? I don't think I was being aggressive. I'm just telling you how I feel. You can say anything else but how I feel, right, brother? You can feel however you want. Do you know Sergeant Brian Fahey? Do you know who that is, Sergeant Brian Fahey? Can you spell that? Sergeant Brian Fahey? Your accent, I can't understand. How do you spell Fahey? Fahey? Yeah, Fahey. Fahey. F-A-H-E-Y. Fahey. 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 You spell it, you spell it as it sounds. There's a couple Fahey's here. Yeah, there are. He's the uh, supervisor, the sergeant for the uh, pistol permits. Why are you yelling at that? Why are you yelling in my ear? I turned around. I'm not yelling in your ear. You just screamed in my ear, bro. Just stop. I'm nowhere near you. You're telling me that he's the sergeant. Sergeant, or yeah. I've already turned around. Oh, okay. Hey, man, you don't have to be so aggressive. Relax. I'm just having a conversation with you. Um, I'm waiting. Oh, oh, I was like, yeah, are you waiting as well? No, yeah, 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 yeah. I think you're up, Jose. No, I'm waiting, sir. I know. I think you're up to order food. I, I got it all set. Thank you. Okay, I think I just think it's your turn. That's all. Thank you. Okay. I, I gotta wait for my food, man. Uh, hey, it's gotta be cooked. Just please stop. I'll see what you ordered. I did whatever I had to do, man. Please stop bothering me. I'm not bothering you. You're turning around. You, you're, pointing you a, you're pointing at thing and you're asking me, am I ready? I'm just eating my food, man. Please don't bother. Don't cut this out. Please no one's. Why out. would I cut it out? It shows. It's. Me. Why would I cut it out? It shows how unreasonable you are. Why would I cut it out? Because I'm just. You're telling me that I'm up? I'm just trying to help I you. Wait for my food, I was just trying to help you. Just trying to help you. I thought you would. I thought you needed to order because you said you wanted to know if I was in line. You wanted to know if I was in line, so I, I think. If this is the line for waiting for you. I think they give you a buzzer, Jose. I think that's how it works. I think I know. Okay. It's going great. Let's turn this back around. Positive. Yeah, it's going great. Beautiful day. Positive energy only. That's funny. Interesting. You're not okay with negative energy. You're not okay with what? Negative energy? You gotta love each other. 
Yeah, we got to bridge the gap, right? Between law enforcement and the public. You're doing that by teaching people different things. Yeah. Transparency. It's important. Transparency and accountability. No one's messing with I didn't even want to talk to you, Jose. You talk to me. <laughs> Jose, I think... And this food is good. Are you going to support? I think... Of course. Why not? Sure, why not? I, just, I, got, I got business to do first. I'm not on lunch yet. I got, I got business to hand. I got business to hand. I'm here on official business. I'm here on official business. Mr. Reyes? Yes. All right. Colin hey. Miller. Colin? Yeah, so nice to meet you, Colin. Director. Yeah. Just a real quick. Yeah, sure, no problem. All right, sir. All right, so I have been emailing with the uh, legal department here. I've been sending emails. I sent an email back in June 16th, so over almost two months ago now, regarding a FOIA request for some body camera footage okay. and um, some security camera footage. And apparently they, they were responsive, said they received it, but... I'm not receiving any responses back anymore in regards to my request, and it's been over the the legal limit for uh, what's re required by FOIA, the FOIA Act here in Connecticut. So I'm wondering what's going on with that. Okay, I'm just taking notes. So of course, yeah, no problem. Not, no problem, uh, sir. Yeah, I understand. Do you have so a yeah, it was on number? June sixteenth. Let me see if I can grab it for you. I know it was on June sixteenth. The Legal Affairs Unit. They didn't give me, um, if you could see here, sir. Mm -hmm. They just said received, thank you, Legal Affairs Unit, Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection. Okay. And then so, I, I, added to the, I added to the request. They said your request has for, for information I've referred to the office for review. And then I followed up, as you see here, I followed up a few times and I've never received a response back. Like I said, it's been it's going going on two months now, and, and okay. I'm pretty sure by by FOIA laws here in Connecticut, you have 30 days to um, provide me with the or at least a response to what. Well, I think we were responsive. We, we acknowledged the request. Yeah. Um, I will check in and see, determine whether or not uh, where it is in the process. Yeah, because I, I mean, I, I just I can't. I didn't want to drive. Right I didn't want to drive all the way over here. I live okay. four hours away, but again, no one's responding to my emails. So I decided okay. to come down here personally. I even said, hey, I'm going to have to come down there personally, speak with somebody from Legal Affairs. So if you could look into it, that'd be great. So yeah, we'll we'll see the status you. of my that's request. Really, that's all I can say right now. Can, can you look up the case. status of my request now while I'm here? I, I can't really do that uh, right now because I'd, well, I'd have to go up. Um, well, I could wait out here while you go up and check on the status. I mean, I drove four hours to get here. Yeah. I, I just can't trust your department that they're going to answer my emails again and then I have to come back out here. and be, if you, I can wait here as long as you need. Just to check on the request that you that you saw that was received. So if you could just so I can get an ETA on when it will be done. And like I said, it's been almost two months now. That's yeah. really unusual. I do FOIA requests across Connecticut, and it usually okay. doesn't take that long for a short body camera footage. And you know, all I can say is you know that's typically not our process. Um, what I will and what I mean by that process, we don't usually meet people in person and go up and do that. Um, you don't check let me, on let me the check, status. Let me check your status. And yeah, just, but for the best way, is I'll probably just send you an email. You literally send me. An email. I mean, you you don't have to come back down. If you send me an email right now, I'll receive it right now, right? And I'll yeah, and and I'll it, just take that as it. I'm just I'm just telling you, I might go up there. It might just still say in progress. So from what I can check. Well, could you shoot me down an email right this second so it says, "Hey, it's still in progress." Yeah, I can do that. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Colin. Are you all set? I um no I'm. It, is there any way I can speak to somebody in records? I can go to records window. For records. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so can I go to the records window? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Just put your, put your any um, metal in the, in the box. Sure. There's, I can't see from here if there's someone at the window, but... Sure. It says reports and records. Yeah, That's I got it. I'll take care of it. Thank you. Hey, how are you? I'm doing okay. Um, How would I go about... Do I, can I submit FOIA requests with your office? So you're only open for FOIA requests on Tuesdays and Thursdays? Oh, so somebody's available at the front window Tuesdays and Thursdays. Understood. I got gotcha. you. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Bye bye. All right, so apparently only Tuesdays and Thursdays they have, um... You all set with the books and records? 
yeah, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna take a little look around the facility here in the publicly accessible areas, just for my some B-roll footage from my story I'm working on. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Over here we have the special licensing and firearms unit. Some public notices over here to our right. Authorized so personnel only. If you only. not film over here, there's people giving personal information that's not public. Why would they give out personal information in, because in public? Because they're giving information about their pistol permit. So they need their demographic information, their name, their address, their phone number, their social security number. So they're saying it in public? Or everybody they're sitting can... at the window providing that information. Oh, yeah. And my... I don't believe these people in line would want you to film their personal information. Oh, my intention is not to film their personal information, ma'am. Okay, but you're standing here and you are recording. So if I could yeah, ask you yeah, to step out you're, into you're, the you're lobby, please. You're here for FOI request, correct? Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, also look, I'm also taking a look at the publicly accessible areas of the facility here. That would be over in here in the lobby. Okay. This, is, this is a lobby as well, sir. Correct. This is publicly accessible over lobby. Here. Over here. I'm okay, sir. Can, can I get your name and badge number, please? Sergeant Corman, 101. And your name and badge number, ma'am? Sergeant Maurice, 288. So supervisors, you should be very, very well versed in, in the people's rights and the Constitution, correct? We are. Correct. Okay, so and great. And that's why this gentleman is standing back here, so he doesn't overhear what's going on at the window. So that's why I'm asking you to do the same thing and give the well, person... Well, nobody, has, a, the nobody has an expectation of privacy in public, Sergeant. Okay. But again, my intention is not to gather any private information, Sergeant. So like I said, we have some public notices here. Just trying to hold people accountable. They have cameras everywhere. Our friendly reminders that they're always recording us, even though it always seems to be an issue when we record them. Obviously, that's the case here today. They always want to make about public and private information. Oh, sure. Hey, how are you, Mr. Collins? What I can tell you, you're probably not gonna have this, but it's being reviewed. Um, the person isn't in right now who's uh, assigned to it, so I'm gonna have her get in touch with you as soon as possible. Who reviews it? The different legal staff members. So that different legal staff will, members. Yeah, so that person will get in. Does it normally take two months to review a, a FOIA request? I don't know the scope of the FOIA request, so I can't answer that. It's one, it's one officer's body camera footage. I, you know, I can't answer that, I and mean, you're also. It's, this is one of the largest agencies that receives so many requests. So oh, I, I'm sure you're dealing with the uh, probably a lot of FOIA requests for the ticket scandals. There's a lot of FOIA requests, so it's, yeah. all, it's different. So. For the that's ticket all, scandals. So that's all I can tell you. So. Oh, okay, yeah, no problem. So I'd that's ask if, yeah. Okay? Yeah, sure, no problem. I'll, follow, I'll keep following through email. Hopefully okay. somebody answers me. Maybe you can get in touch with the person I've been emailing with and, maybe, and ask we'll them yet, to, so. to, to answer my email so I don't have to come down here next time. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. But we would ask if you know, unless you do have other business here, that we would ask you to. Oh, my business! I'm just like I'm just getting some B-roll footage. I'm I'm an independent journalist, and I'm just working on a story here. And this, I'm going to stay oh, in the publicly really, accessible areas. That's not exactly the state business here. Plus, you have people here with the same permits. So I what would, that, I would what just the permits ask you. have? What do the permits have to do with it? Well, Connecticut, yeah, I have I, I have a right to be in a pub. This is publicly accessible area, correct? That's uh, open to the public. In this specific area. This is a publicly accessible area, correct? Yeah, well, all we're going to we're just asking you if you do have state business here. No, I'm, I, I'm just going to finish taking some B-roll footage here and taking some pictures of video in the publicly accessible areas and holding my government accountable here, and I'll be on my way eventually. Well, what do you mean eventually? Well, you, you've gotten do, a, you close, right? You're going to, until you, until we close? Do you close? Is it open 24 hours? No, it's not open 24 hours. Okay. Sir, so I definitely won't be here past closing, I promise you that. We're just going to ask you if you, if, because your business here is concluded, that did the police leave at this point? Am I being trespassed from the property? Because I can't be trespassed as long as I'm following. Am I breaking any laws right now? Sir, would, give me a one second. Yeah, sure, no problem. At this point, if your business is concluded, we're going to ask you to leave at this point. You know, we do not won't need it. We do not want individuals loitering around in the building. I understand you're, you know you're filming, but... Yeah, I'm not loitering. You, you, you're, you're, you are, because at this point, you, you don't have any actual state business here. I'm not loitering in the building, sir. Sir, I, I'd like I to really speak to a supervisor. Um, fortunately, my supervisor is actually not in right now. So I, I don't need to speak to your supervisor. Are you a law enforcement officer, sir? I'm not a law enforcement officer. Okay, because I've been told by certain people that... They're law enforcement officers today, and they weren't, so I just wanted to make sure we're clear. I'm You're not, not law enforcement. enforcement. I am asking you, though. I am asking that if your business I would like to speak clear. to a law enforcement officer supervisor, please. A sergeant of some sort, at the very least. Just because I want to make sure that what we're doing here is, is legal and on the up and up.
because this is a public building that everybody has a right to access. And you have a right to access as long as you are here on some sort of state business or some sort of business. You're more than welcome if you need to request something, if you're more than welcome to to get some handled by a permit with requisite. But if I wasn't recording, if somebody was in here and they weren't recording, you wouldn't be telling asking to leave. You're asking me to leave because I'm recording. Uh, I think we'd be asking if you were just hanging out and loitering without any recording. It w- well, I'm not loitering. I'm I'm, you, I'm, I'm, I'm handling a bit, I'm ha- handling my business. Like I said, I'm holding my government accountable, which is a constitutionally protected activity and part of the state law here in Connecticut. We have the right to film law enforcement officers in the course of their duty. Are you aware of that bill that was passed by the Connecticut sir, legislature, sir? I'm not sir? trying to argue the law. I don't, I don't want to argue the law either. The law I, just, I don't want to argue the law either, so I just want to let you know what the law is so that way we can act accordingly from there. That's all. The law is I have a right to record police in the, in the course of their duty. This is the course of their duty. I'm in public. I'm not committing any crimes. I'm not causing any sir, disturbances. We're, we're, at this point, it's getting to the point where we're going to, where if you're not here on official business, we're going to ask you to please step outside and, and to leave. Well, sir, you're not even a law enforcement officer. Um, I'm sorry, that's Tom, right? Yes. Tom Beach. All right, you're all set. You're all set. Okay. 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 Okay
to try and make it seem like they're less racist than they are here. Problem here at the Connecticut State Police, no accountability. We seen Sergeant Brian Fahey. We tried to get, talk to him today. He didn't want to speak to us, give us any comment. I swear, it's like he sees me from inside of his office or inside of the Connecticut State Police Department headquarters here, and he just chooses to come outside every time I'm here. He wants that confrontation. He wants to confront me. He wants to try and assault me again and violate my rights because he can do it over and over again without any accountability. Federal lawsuits are coming against Sergeant Brian Fahey and the Connecticut State Police, so stay tuned for that. I have two attorneys working on that as we speak. Stay tuned to the channel for further updates. Let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island on it. Peace.